Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This one's going up on a Wednesday. Hump day. So hope you're having a good week so far. We are going to have a live stream later on tonight. You can join us on both Xbox and PlayStation Red Dead Online. Just make sure to sub to the channel if you are new and hit the notification bell. With all notifications on, it'll let you know as soon as we go live. Hopefully, we'll see you at the live stream later. We're starting off today's episode near the end in Amberino. This is where you can find... The Witch's Cauldron. We're still not 100% sure what the mysterious liquid inside the cauldron does or who the witch is who is responsible for brewing it. But we're going to look at that in today's episode. Do me a huge favor, hit the like button. It really helps out. So we're going to drink the mysterious liquid. Pay very close attention to the effect that happens when you drink it. Here we go. Now you can only do this once. So if you do it as Arthur, you will not be able to do it as John. Take a look at the health. It will not take long. As soon as he drinks it, he's going to black out. So there's something else that makes you do something very similar. We'll wake up in a random location. I think in this case, we're right outside the hut. So it did show that the health, I think, went down. It doesn't seem to be too much of a perk. It doesn't say anything, so it really is a mystery. There are plenty of signs that somebody does live here. Fresh vegetables, the candles are lit, and of course the bubbling cauldron. There was the raven, but I ran into him, so I guess he's dead. We cannot question the raven to find out who his owner is. And you do have a few valuables in the chest, but nothing else other than the mysterious liquid itself. So who is the witch who is living here right now? It may not be who you expect. Anybody who plays Red Dead Online is no doubt familiar with Harriet Davenport. Sometimes when you approach her, she'll be very angry. She'll be so mad that she will spray you with a mysterious magic potion. We'll look at that in a moment. I do have to give a special shout out to one of the mods here at the Trippy Fan, Michelle. She did a lot of research and reached out with the information in today's episode. Much love to Michelle. So right now, I think she is in a pretty good mood. Doesn't seem to be too happy about the hat. It was already dead. It was roadkill. I promise. She may seem like a normal lady just living by herself out in the wilderness, but she's a witch. She has a blending tonic, a hearty tonic, weight gain, and weight loss tonic. So she has different tonics that allow you to lose or gain weight instantly. She's the only character who has something like that. Animal Reviver, Legendary Animal Pheromones, and she has one other thing that is even more powerful. All right, Harriet, I don't like you when you're in a good mood. So I think we have to go kill a legendary animal and then return, that will trigger her, and she will spray us with a mysterious tonic that has a very familiar effect. You can also see her sometimes talking to animals. What other character can telepathically communicate with the different animals in the game? So I'm going to go find a legendary, bag that, and then come right back. What the? It just went from day to nighttime instantly. What was that about? Harriet. What'd you do? We brought you a gift. The legendary banded gator skin. Let's see if she likes it. We'll leave it right there for you. It'll make for some great gator nuggets. You've got some nerve. Oh yeah. So she's gonna spray us with the same exact thing that was in the cauldron. Almost an identical effect. Just like when Arthur drank it. It gets sprayed in our face, we black out instantly, and then wake up at a random location not too far away. So somehow we got all the way across the river. We passed out, there's our horse in Harriet's tent, along with the gator skin, and then we're on the other side. How did that happen? You might think that that is the most powerful thing that Harry could possibly create, but she has made something even more powerful, something that has the ability to turn you into an animal. And considering she's the one talking to animals, she can also turn into one. One of the most rare plants in the game is named after Harriet. The Harrietum officinalis. You need this to transform into an animal. So I believe that this one plant is very important to Harriet. And that is why it's named after her and why you need it not too far away from here to transform into a buck. When you have enough of the plants, come to this spot underneath the tree. If you inspect it, just like the peyote from Grand Theft Auto V, you will eat it 
and then transform to one of four different animals within Red Dead Online. Now I hope Rockstar does add more, perhaps a bird so we can fly around, maybe even fish. Your mind is clouded by your recent interaction with nature? Okay, so you're supposed to transform into a buck. Red Dead Online glitched out as always, but you saw it, we transformed using Harriet's special flower. Like I was saying, we need so many more animals. We want to control a cougar. We want to control a bird, a fish. We found that cauldron very early on, wondering who the witch was. And then Rockstar added Harriet, the plants, and the animal transformation into the game to let us know exactly who it was. We are back in our human form. Why do I have the sudden urge to eat grass? So you just saw the buck. You can also even turn into a possum. I don't know who wants to turn into a possum, especially when we have a cougar. Harry, do you forgive us? I think we're cool again. I'm not sure where the legendary animals are, though. There's no sightings. They're completely gone. So there's one other thing that you can do with that special Harriet flower. If you bring it back to your campfire, you can use it to spawn ghost animals. You can spawn a ghost buck, a ghost rabbit, even a ghost possum back at your campfire with the Harriet officinalis. Interesting. Not only can she contact the dead animals, but she can turn into them. She's definitely a witch. We'll return to the cauldron one more time. You may think that she is young. But she is over 1,000 years old. At least, I think that's how witches work. Once again, huge shout out to Michelle. Make sure to stop by the live stream later on tonight. I'm sure she'll be chilling in the chat. Also, hit the like button. I'm sure she'd really appreciate it. So let's drink the mysterious liquid one more time. Don't forget, hit the like button. Sub if you are new. Live stream later on tonight. Hit the notification button. And it'll let you know as soon as it begins. We got another big video in the works, so watch out for that. Until next time... Stay tuned, and as always, stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?